for later. It takes someone if you want to lose them forever. I'm not getting up that frozen waterfall. Maybe along the sides? <gasps> Maybe he found shelter? I hope he found shelter. Behind the rock. The Nora girl? Is it really you, or has the bone chill got through my skull? I found the real killers. No one else has to die because of this. Take these. A dead cautious clothes. Haven't I been beaten down enough? But I won't argue. I swear, thought I'd saw my ancestors. They said, would surprise you ended up here. Machines.
fresh summer sun breeze through the trees. Now that was a fight. Your trial's over. It was other Banuk who killed that man. Killed him because he was Karja. You know why I took the first swing at him? He challenged the honor of the Banuk. The honor. That's what I thought. Come on. Let's get you back. Once I'm off the mountain, I'll find my own way. I need to think. It's not something I'm used to. Who knows what could happen. I'll see you at town then. You'd better make it, all right? I give my pledge. So by the new claw, if Inatut survives, he's forgiven. But I want to prove to his chieftain that he wasn't guilty in the first place. What did Inatut think he was doing, fighting with that... Karja! He's going to start the war all over again! I would stay far away from the northern edge of the country. Inatut told you the truth. This is the headdress stolen from the murdered man. You'll find more in a ravine north and west of here, along with the bodies of the killers. The exile still served its purpose. He was guilty of our suspicion. Fate has fallen like snow, and should Inatut return, he will be absolved. You can't be serious. He speaks for the Werek, my Nora friend. You look ridiculous. If you would return to my Werek, you will behave as a Banuk does. How does a Banuk behave, my chieftain? Like I did? Accepting a sentence for a crime he did not commit. Or those others who killed in cold blood for crimes that their Karja victims did not. I think what I wear will not make me more or less of a Banuk. For his own sake, it would be wise for him to think less, Nora friend. I'll talk to him, but not for you.
I defied my chieftain's will, spurned my Warwick. How are you feeling? As if I've been pounded the guts. I could just keep walking, but when my anger has thawed, it will leave me with nothing. Where else would I go? You can decide for yourself what it means to be a Banuk. It might not be what the Chieftain and the Shaman tell you. Whether you stay with this Warak or find another... I'm better with decisions like, do I start with the left or the right? There's more to you than your fists, Inatut. That's why I believed you. It was my chieftain who taught me honesty. Said, a Banuk should not be treacherous when the ice is treacherous enough. I'll sit with my bruises for a time, then talk with her again. As for you, Nora girl, will you accept this gift? A, a little scrawny weighed against the great boon you gave me, but... I'm honored. Thank you, Inatut.
Stocking up. Outlander, I've heard of you, Huntress. Each of the many verses of your song tells of an impossible victory. The notes echo across the cut. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Hmm. That I know. My song used to echo around Banur. Omnak, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here. For another. They call it the Claws Beneath. Or they did when I was younger. Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip... My bones ache, Huntress. But you... Out hunting Aratak. Leading your own Werak. If half your song is true, you are the only hunter I trust to go in my place. You... Want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. You want me to hunt in your place? Is that some kind of Banuk custom? Well, perhaps it should be, but no. We survive and we prevail, until we fail to do either. I confess, this is not easy for me. For any other machine, I would die as I have lived. A Banuk hunter. Weapon raised. But too many good lives have been lost to the claws. Throwing my old corpse atop the pile accomplishes nothing. Better to live in a world without the claws than to die while it still makes children orphans. Sounds like you've got a reputation. To be Banuk is to push your body to its limits. I found my limits higher than most. Fearsome machines needed killing, and in my youth, I found I had a talent for killing them. Even now, my name carries such weight that when the claws beneath re-emerged, the Werak came to me. Do you still have the same faith in yourself that your Werak seems to have? Perhaps I did. Before I held my bow in shaking hands, noticed for the first time the spots on my knuckles. What a strange thing it is to be old. To stare backward and see such distance. But to stare forward at a looming wall. This machine, the claws beneath. Why travel all the way to the cut just to hunt it? Some songs. They include a refrain. The return of a past moment. It seemed fitting. You've hunted this thing before. Must have been twenty winters past. We were so close to bringing the Claws to bay. Closer than anyone else ever got. We? Me. And my friend. He was a chieftain of my Werak then. A skilled hunter. Every few years the Claws would emerge in a new location. I knew of two chieftains he'd sent to their burial pyres. My friend became the third. This hunt. I had hoped to complete it in his honor. This is obviously important to you, Umnak. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? No, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath. If I ever was. If I face it, it will kill me. Of this I have no doubt. The Banuk blood in my veins screams at me to take on the claws myself. But I must see it brought down. And dead men see precious little. All right, Umnok. I'll do what I can. I've no doubt you can do quite a lot. The stories say the Claws Beneath returns here only once every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. Hunt well. You should not pile his father's guilt onto the new card to King of He's a different time. Find anything interesting lately? I might have. Let's talk. I've got a nice rail, just like Aratox. 
You want to take a look? Uh, are you serious? Y yes, yes, I'd love that. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> Obvious design flaw. So if I replace these... Yeah, that should... <sighs> right. So, believe it or not, she's operating at... Let's be generous. Half her potential. What's with the she's? <laughs> oh. Pop says all weapons are girls. I don't think he realizes it's a compliment. Uh, well, listen. If we had a Thunderjaw's mandibles to work with, her gears would be well and truly greased. And I know where to find one, if you want to go hunting with me. Remind me what we need to fix up this thing? That Thunderjaw's mandibles will do it. A weapon that spits flame, huh? Like this one? I took this thing off an Osaron bandit. Think you could do anything with it? <laughs> you got my forge fire back? Well, if you took down Olgrid and his goons for this thing, I guess she's yours now. Why don't you finish it for me first? Make it... make her into the weapon she was supposed to be. Thought you'd never ask. I'm gonna need a bellowback snout. Any bellowbacks will do. Can you handle it alone? I think I can manage that. This forge fire of yours... What do you need to finish it up? Like I said, a bellowback snout ought to do it. I'm not picky. So, a Thunderjaw hunt. They seem pretty rare up here. Not that I'm complaining. That's why we should get out of the cut for a while. Hunt one in the valley meet. I'll wait for you out there. Easier for me to work with parts before the metal goes cold. Is Bergrin going to be okay with this? Eh, if we can handle a Thunderjaw, we can handle Pop. Chosen a poor time to visit the cut, Outlander. <laughs> 